Well, I've loved the King's Theatre ever since I first came down south on holiday from Birmingham with my family when I was about 10 or 11. We used to love coming to Southsea, staying in a guest house on, this, on the uh, seafront there every, every year. It was, that, it was the highlight of our year. And when I was down here, we always used to come to the uh, King's Theatre if there was something on, and also, in my case, to Fratton Park. So they were my two big loves when I came down to Southsea, and, and, and I've been in love with this theatre ever since. I've kind of... I've kind of grown old with it, if you like, and um, brought the kids here to pantomimes, and I've seen so many productions here. So when I was asked to become a patron, I was, I was thrilled, to be quite honest, because it's a beautiful old theatre with wonderful traditions. And I was thrilled also, just before Christmas, to actually perform here on the stage uh, for the uh, concert in aid of Children in Need. So delighted to be here. I mean, I love working in front of a live audience as opposed to talking to a piece of metal like this one here. Uh, I, I love it when there's a live audience there and, and you can react off them and they can react off you. So, so to work on the stage here uh, just before Christmas was a great thrill. And it, I'll be honest with you, one of my secret ambitions, it, it won't ever happen, but, but before I die, I'd love to be in a pantomime here. As I see it, my role is to promote the theatre, to get people to come into the theatre. And one of the misconceptions about the King's Theatre is that, that most of the productions here are done by local amateur groups. Well, a lot are, and that is to be encouraged because the, the standard is enormously high. But some of the professional productions here, and I, I, there's so many I've actually got a list. I mean, uh, Sound of Music this week, Flash Dance in May, Mamma Mia, the big one in June, Madagascar in August, the play that goes wrong in September, and Evita in November. I mean, fantastic professional West End productions coming to the King's Theatre. And I do urge people to come and watch because it's a wonderful theatre. It needs your support. It needs your financial support as well in order to keep going because it, if, if we lost this, it would be an absolute tragedy. So loads of, of top-class West End productions coming here as well as the Amdrams as well. So... Everything's here, and I, as I see it, the, the job they've given me is to promote the theatre and to try and encourage people to come and watch. Yeah, I mean, I've actually been in, in TV non-stop really now uh, for uh, about... I'm, I'm in my 55th year, believe it or not. I started when I was seven. Uh, in my 55th year, and I've been doing the 6 o'clock news for ITV in the south and the southeast now. I think, well, it'll be... This is my 35th year. Brian Conley... The comedian said, live on our programme, it's amazing anyone can have lasted so long with so little talent. <laughs> Harsh but fair. It's been a privilege to do this programme for so long. I mean, I never honestly ever believed it would last so long. It was a programme I always wanted to do from the moment I joined Southern TV back in 1964 on a children's programme. I always wanted to do the six o'clock show, and, and, and finally it happened, but I I'd, I'd obviously no idea it would last so long. And I love it, because the beauty about regional television, local television, as you, as you would know, is that you, you get this relationship uh, with the viewers that you, you don't get on national TV shows. It's, it's very intimate, it's very personal uh, conversations in the street with people you don't know, which, which I think is, is lovely. Uh, emails, letters, everything. It's... It's very special. I've been very lucky and uh, very grateful. Come to the King's Theatre if you can. Please keep watching ITV Meridian if you can. And that, as a very, very ancient broadcaster used to say, is how for now.